welcome to Sweet Uplift Property Flippers channel. My name is Tia. Okay, I am here to take you through our latest project in Berwick, Melbourne, Australia. We renovated the house and we are selling it for a profit. How nice is that? Okay, first of all, I want to tell you with any renovation project, especially when you renovate for profit, it is very, very important that you keep the cost down to maximize your profit. So today I am going to show you how we managed to save on the dollar when we did the renovation. So one of the things when you decide what to do and what not to do in your renovation is to consider your kitchen. Of course, a lot of people would think to rip everything out and replace brand new kitchen would be the best thing to do, but not always. To replace a kitchen this size with everything brand new, it will probably cost you anywhere between $30,000 up to $100,000. But for us, it only cost us $4,500 to do the kitchen. I'll show you how. To save on cost, what we did here was that we actually kept the original shelves, the cabinet, cabinet shelves of the kitchen, and we replaced the doors, of course, with new handles, new sink, and new tapware. And by doing that, we save massively on this kitchen. The original kitchen actually had a tall pantry attached to this kitchen bench here. So you can see in the photo here, it had a huge pantry and the good thing about the pantry is that it actually provides extra storage for your kitchen but the bad thing is it blocks the view from the dining space and the kitchen so it made the space look uh, rather narrow and squashy so after quite some consideration and serious debate we decided to still go with this option of removing the pantry altogether, replacing it with a large bench top. The reason for that is it is very important to stir up the emotions of your potential buyer, right? When people come and inspect this house to make that purchase decision, it's important that you create the sense of belonging and wanting to be in this area, you know, um, liking the space. So it's easier for them to have that if they have an open plan kitchen with lots of spacious rooms and any storage issue can be supplemented later with furniture. So what we did was we found a stonemason that did um, sort of half, half ready bench tops for a fraction of the cost that you would normally find with your local stonemason. So this bench top cost $2,500 to do. The cooktop, the oven, and the rent hood. So all these were actually the originals. So we just kept them as is because we think that um, they are still in pretty good condition. And being um, stainless steel, they represent what people really like right now. So the trend. We actually thought the original kitchen splashback looked pretty good, so we kept it and we went and bought matching color floor tiles. The original kitchen had wood boards up there and down as kickers. Instead of changing them into the same color, we simply went and got a jar of black paint and we painted over them to form part of the entire kitchen design black and white. Another thing is how to choose the right light features for your kitchen. So what we did here was that we went for something modern and sleek like this particular pendant light that we use over the kitchen bench top. So to go with a design like that, it will really make your kitchen space look modern and spacious because the light doesn't take much space. And I also want to mention this particular LED light. That is actually not a skylight. It's a, you know, your hardwired LED light panel. But we chose that to give a, 
a skylight feel to make people feel like there is a lot of light in the kitchen without getting in your way. When you try to save cost by keeping the old bones of the kitchen like we did and replacing everything else, sometimes you might come across little problems. For example, when we received the board for this section here, there was actually a little crack. You know, the board was damaged during transportation. But instead of reordering a new one, waiting weeks and weeks for it, paying extra money, we decided to go and buy this little hook from Bunnings. It only costs a few dollars and we attach the hook here so you can hang your kitchen mitten and your kitchen towels and you won't be able to see the crack. Brilliant! Another problem we had was that there were a lot of little screw holes in the original kitchen cabinetry. And um, what we did was that we went and got little patches, like little round stickers, and we used these stickers to cover the holes. You won't be able to see it and it saves you a lot of money and it only costs $3 for 50 of them. I have listed here a full list of items and costs for this kitchen renovation. In upcoming episodes, I will be covering in details what we did with the bathroom, ensuite, laundry and other areas of the property. Stay tuned for more.